Capillaries are thin-walled blood vessels with an arterial and venous end. Their thin walls and narrow diameter are optimal for the exchange of fluid, gases, nutrients, and waste between blood and tissues of the body. This process is called capillary exchange. In general, fluid moves out of capillaries at their arterial ends. Most, but not all, of that fluid re-enters at their venous ends. The forces that drive fluid and its dissolved contents into and out of capillaries are net hydrostatic pressure, which is the difference between blood and interstitial fluid pressures, and oncotic pressure, which is the difference between blood and interstitial colloid osmotic pressures. Net filtration pressure is the difference between net hydrostatic pressure and oncotic pressure. This regulates the inward and outward movement of fluid at each end of the capillary. At the arterial end of the capillary, a positive net filtration pressure favors movement of fluid from the blood into the interstitial space. For example, the difference between a net hydrostatic pressure of 33 millimeters mercury and an oncotic pressure of 20 millimeters mercury results in a net filtration pressure of 13 millimeters mercury that forces fluid out of the capillary. The shift from filtration to reabsorption at the venous end of the capillary is due to a lower capillary blood or hydrostatic pressure. Here, the difference between a net hydrostatic pressure of 13 millimeters mercury and an oncotic pressure of 20 millimeters mercury results in a net filtration pressure of negative 7 millimeters mercury. This negative net filtration pressure forces fluid from the interstitial space back into the capillary. Approximately 90% of the fluid that leaves the blood capillary at its arterial end will re-enter at its venous end. Lymphatic capillaries capture the remaining 10% of the fluid. Fluid in the lymphatic system is eventually returned to the bloodstream. This table summarizes the forces that influence the fluid exchange at the arterial and venous ends of a capillary.